Hey everybody, it's Panico Band again, and I'm just continuing on with Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, where I last left off, we were about to read Sayori's poem, and hopefully after we've read hers, I'll get to read mine, and if not, then boo. I want to know how terrible it was, because I just was clicking things at random, words that I liked, words that I thought would be like... Interesting to one of the other girls. I have no clue. So let's see what she has to say. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Panda. Ooh. But is it really? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have, I have no idea what I like either. Why are you glitching? I don't get it. Is that part of the game? I still don't know. <sighs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. Stop it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a panda poem! Boop, 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 boop. Cause I'm a panda. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can say your feeling I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. Okay. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Okay. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Panda. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Yeah. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motto here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined, knowing how much this means to her and all. Stop it. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Oh, jeez. We'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. I kind of liked her poem. Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Aww. It came out nice. Or try should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I'll get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah, but next time I won't forget, and I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Okay, what's gonna happen next? I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. What did I write? That's all I want to know. What did I say? Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They're gingerly, they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. 
sad smile. What's with this language, eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. That doesn't sound like a compliment. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Oh, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Mm. Sayori liked it. And Panda did too. Okay, do not take my liking it as like a good thing. Like, cause I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. She has an attitude on her. Panda liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Ooh. Somebody's jealous. That's not what I... Uh... Ooh. Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Panda appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Oh, jeez. And how do you know he'd appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, no. If I was full of myself, I would be deliberately, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Panda started showing up. <gasps> what? Girls, chill. Natsuki, um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me as if they noticed I was standing there. Panda, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Panda. Oh no, what did I do? Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, You're right, Panda? Oh, I was about to read her name. Um, well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? Because they like you! And you were a nice dude, and you went there for your friend. It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Okay, we're just gonna say help me. <laughs> Drying up any words I had in my mouth, so instead I turned to Yuri. But Yuri's expression is so defensive that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! Eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Panda. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair to others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a suck-up jerk she's being, she would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Oh. Drama. 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 Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! Oh. Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I, I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because something else that I accidentally skipped. Everyone's so talented. 
so why are we fighting? Because, because they like me. Also, Natsuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. I... Sorry. Sorry stands up triumphantly. Y'all, I really don't know if this is supposed to be happening, so I'm gonna ask a friend later because it's so frustrating. I'll just take like, like a picture and send it to him. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea, and if it's not supposed to be happening, then hopefully it won't happen in the next video. I'll go ahead and apologize now if it does, and I'm apologizing again that it's been happening in the first place. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sari is very present. I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well... I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to not. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Panda, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow, and maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I want to impress them all at once. So, can you help me? Panda, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm in not enjoying it either. Sayori? About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. It's because they like me. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wonder your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Whew. You know, Panda, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. But, uh, every day is going to be so much fun. It looks like Sori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Alright, y'all. I'm going to write the poem and I guess not see what. No. Boop. Boop. Okay. Calm, cute, cute. Games, meager, whistle, ocean, lazy, fantasy. Okay. Romance, grief, incongruent, suicide, variance, fireflies. Oi. Anxiety, sensation, defeat, party? No, I want to impress Natsuki. Anime. Boom. Alright. Vanilla. Pink. Because pink is awesome. Um, smile. Bouncy. Love. Hair. Okay, I went with hair. Poof. Laugh. Joy. Oh, jeez. Oh, Bunny. 
Disown Nibble, Skirt, Misfortune, Eternity, and now No, no, no! Playground. Sugar? Okay. Alright, so I've written my poem. And as we see, another day has passed. And it's time for the club meeting. But what I'm going to do is, like last time, is I'm going to end it here. And we'll start up next time with reading everybody's poems. And we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, I guess I never get to read my poems, which kind of sucks. I wish that I could. But uh, anyways, I hope to see everybody next time. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think so far. And... If you have an answer about why it's doing that glitchy stuff, I'd appreciate that help because it's slightly annoying. Um, but anyways, uh, have a great day, night, month, year, eternity, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!